just come here. Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. Yeah, wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Ah, uh, this one. Look, there's Michael. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um... Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Uh, so, we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? You serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. And they do infrared, so I see everything. So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Talk to you later. You bet. So. How are you, um, cold enough? Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. Wait, is this Allison you coming? I'll be right there. Well, I better make sure he doesn't get lost. See you, Michael. Anything? Nah, just a whole lot of nothing. No luck on my end. You? Nothing.
Anything? Nah, just a whole lot of nothing. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. No dice. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch Engine? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds, lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. Worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. <sighs> Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards. You and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk. I'll be back soon. 
Alright? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. About to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. Think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. years later. And then I took Dana ice skating on Wednesday. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was born to do it. She's your child, that's for sure. Got an offer for a real job. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And you're, um, it starts with a K, right? Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. I... Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but... Where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway. Now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina, and I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... 
I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... That's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? Maybe you could travel around a bit, see what else is out there. Meech always wanted us to go to Cyprus. Might be nice to see that one through, even if I do it without him. It sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two years old. God, those kind of accidents happen all the time. But the penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so. So they do jack shit. Life's got a price. in peace, Snowball. in peace, Snowball. Ty. No dice. Not her.
Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. Get it? We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No. I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives... I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. 
and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, Delos was done with her. <laughs>